Arsenal, who are sitting second in the table, against ah, oh, certain Chelsea, who of course are sitting now, what are they, 12? 12th in the table with Crystal Palace with that win uh, going above them. Uh, you take a look at the odds, uh, no surprise, Arsenal are favourites. Uh, five to three on to get the victory draw at 30 to one. Uh, Chelsea win at uh, 19 to four. Uh, Frank Lampard, of course, is still looking for a win, anything to grab hold to. <laughs> and he said, well, there's been a lot of work through the team, Mikel, alignment and good recruitment. Do we have the possibility to do that? Yes. Will it take time and good decisions? Absolutely yes, but you can get there. Uh, the manager was being questioned, the players and owners were, and that process can take two or three years. They are a great example of that done well. <clears throat> uh, this, of course, the first game after that defeat against Manchester City. Where are they, do you think, Ian, mentally going into this tie? In a total mess. I think it's a complete shambles at Chelsea. What's going on there this season? All this investment. They haven't got any more points than Bournemouth, who've hardly spent a thing. I don't think they've got anybody worth over £20 million in the squad. So um, it's totally shambolic. Um, you never know what the best eleven is. How can they when they've got that many players around? Yeah. How can they even organise the training? They've even had to extend the dressing room. So... If Frank Lampard can rescue something from uh, all the debris, good luck to him. But um, you doubt whether he could do that away to Arsenal tomorrow, even though I think Arsenal are suffering a bit of emotional burnout at this late stage of the season. But I think they've contributed a lot to the season, the Gunners. And if they don't win the title, I think it's still been a very good year for them. Is this a dream fixture for Arsenal off the back of that defeat? No. Well, no, why not? Chelsea, Chelsea are rubbish. Anyone well, because can beat the, them. the problem is Chelsea have got... The one thing I think we all agree on is that Chelsea have got some talented football players. And if Arsenal in any way, shape or form don't go, don't go about this the right way, it could be a banana skin. That, think that so? would Do you really worry. think so? I wasn't expecting Chelsea's that. Going to win it, right? Chelsea's going to win a game between now and the end of the season, right? Why? What have you seen? That's, <laughs> because that's of the, because that. of the players they have done. They've got the same the players who've lost all that, these games. Come on, let, come on. So, so, so you would have said, you would have said, what, seven weeks ago that Chelsea's not going to win a game between then and the end of the season. You wouldn't have said but that. But that was seven weeks ago. Now, with what we've seen. And I've seen, just told you, it's a banana skin. And you look at you, what players are on the pitch are going to... It's a banana skin. Who are these players that you're talking about? What do you mean, who are these players? Yeah, who are these players? Joe Felix tell me, can't score to save his life. Tell Kai me Havertz what player. Is terrible. Please, please tell me what player Chelsea has that doesn't have ability. I don't think anyone's questioning ability, well, but that's we haven't the problem seen Arsenal that quality. Have. What, what quality have we seen from Chelsea? The problem that Arsenal have is that if Arsenal don't start this game properly mm -hmm. and get themselves ahead and make sure that the talent that Chelsea, Chelsea has is goal. not the, down. Chelsea can't score goals. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, come by and ask me tomorrow. Well, well, you're off tomorrow. Well, it doesn't matter what I'm saying. You, number one, you know you let me finish. Two, it no, doesn't no, matter I what I'm saying. No, you, you get some noise. Why, why are you even talking about this game? <laughs> Because, well, because Chelsea are that bad. Why are we even talking about this game? Because it's let's Arsenal. Get, it's hey, Arsenal. Take the Three points. Hold on, let's phone the FA. Hey, let's not bother playing this game because Chelsea are rubbish. They are rubbish. Well, what's the point of playing the game then? Well, because Arsenal might be rubbish as well. How are they mentally going into Honestly. this game? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Shut up. Stevie, I feel like everybody's picking on you today. I tell you what, I, what are you on? You're getting out of there. I'm going to have to rewatch this. You see, you actually convinced me that I was sticking up for Klopp. <laughs> I never once stuck up for Klopp, by the way. Uh, Listen, uh, Chelsea, you've got too much talent. If you, if you even give them an opportunity, right. you, might, you might just get beat. That's what I'm... That's what I was trying to say when somebody so rudely and smarty pants as usual wouldn't let me say it. Uh, Ian, do you agree with Stevie? Chelsea going to win this one? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think they will, but I, I, I know what he means because you'd think at some point they're going to get some kind of result somehow. I mean, the one thing you'd worry about with Arsenal is they're letting in so many goals, aren't they, lately? Um, even three against Southampton, the bottom club. So there is that. But I think Arsenal will edge it, actually, in a quite a tense night. Uh, I think... Edge it. Come on, get after them. 
What do you mean? Arsenal's <laughs> going to edge it against a Chelsea side that are absolute garbage. <laughs> who can't gonna... score a goal. <laughs> and they've got no talent, according to you. <clears throat> Arsenal are going to hey. win. And they're going to edge it, and that's OK. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously. I hope they win 5-0 tomorrow. <laughs> oh, so they are. I'll tell you what. I'm off tomorrow. But see if they win, I'm coming in. Uh, I'll tell you that now. If, if we win, if we win. <laughs> If Chelsea beat uh, Arsenal, I'm off. If Chelsea beat Arsenal, it's phoning I'm in. in. It's phoning I'm not phoning in. in. I'm coming in. I am driving in. Oh, I'm wow. going to be. I'm going to get an extra chair. Right. And I'm going to be sat over there. Right. Why? Why don't you sit here? I'm going to sit right there. Oh, okay. In front facing, of the camera, facing you, Shaka. Um, to, to your initial question, Dan, I think on on paper this is a good. It's a good tie for Arsenal. A, a club sitting sitting 12 can't buy a win. Um, you know, mid-table are getting ready to, to go on their holidays. I think the only thing that makes this slightly tricky is, is the fact that it's, it's a London derby and um, there's a history between, between these, these two clubs. Uh, other than that, um, Arsenal <laughs> should, should cruise this. Um, that and the fact that they themselves have, have hit these kids. But I think this is, is a good opportunity for them to bounce back. Uh, of course, mathematically, still very much, Arsenal are in the title race. Uh, the bookies have managed to City much pretty at home and hose, of course, with that win. Uh, Fulham at the weekend, they get top of the table. They're 20 to 1 on. Uh, meanwhile, <coughs> Arsenal coming in at 10 to 1. Uh, Arteta, though, saying all the right things, looking to motivate his players ahead of this. We have achieved what it was difficult to achieve, and we can still achieve the Premier League because there are five games to go, and a lot of things are going to happen still. What we have to do is forget about what happened last week, learn from it and move on into the next game with a full tilt at home with our people, London Derby, and put things right. He's obviously saying all the right things, uh, Ian. It's whether or not his yeah. team will react to that. Yeah, I think they have to keep on believing and just eking out the results as best they can and hope that Manchester City might just be detoured in some way by having to play Real Madrid twice. And here's an interesting thing. Look at those last two Manchester City games this season. They are, I think, potentially tricky. Going to Brighton and then to Brentford. Last two away from home. So I just wonder if there could even yet be some kind of sting in the tail there. Maybe a sting in the table, Stale? Um, there, there, there could be because of, of the number of games that, that City have. I don't think there's any question City are playing the better football right now. But just with everything that City continue to, to, to compete in, um, and as, as big a squad as they have, you just feel that they, they'll be tested. And to, to, to Ian's point, these, these twists go all the way down to the very end of the season. Um, so from an Arsenal perspective, if, if, you, if you win out, um, you have every chance of winning the league. Last word on this to you, Stephen. Sorry. Last word. Oh, he talked to me now, eh? Well, I was talking to you. You told me to shut yeah. up. I mean, no, me. I, think, I think as much as we just looked at who City have got. Yes, of course. Clearly, they're going to beat Chelsea because Chelsea are so bad, according to you. But, I don't think but that's an extreme look at, statement. But what you've got to look at is you've got Newcastle away next. And then you've got Brighton. So... We can talk about the last two games City's got, but Newcastle and Brighton are going to be tough for Arsenal. So even if even if they slip up at, at Brentford or whatever, yeah, I don't see Arsenal winning out. Um, Stevie may be on tomorrow. Uh, what if, oh, <laughs> he'd, he'd be sitting right here. <laughs> he'd be right here. <laughs> Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Uh, Ian, we'll say thank you very much as always uh, for joining us. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.